my name is Katie Burke and today's video I would like to talk about shadow work and moving through the shadows, moving through our darkness um, at a faster clip, coming through those shadows and on the other side of the light um, with a lot of purpose, a lot of intention, and um, in some cases like miraculous speed to work through um, some of the darker times that we all walk through. To start is to um, just put a, a general reminder that we are not meant to, we have not created or designed our lives and um, how we want to be in the world. We have not created this in, um, in, a, in a way where we ever should need to suffer or suffer or be in fear um, or be in a lack mentality. There's a lot of that coming up for us to move through, but it's ne it was never meant to be where we um, have to feel that we must sit in this frequency and, and it's now part of our identity. Um, you can release that if, if being someone who has been hurt or wounded or, um, or is just, you know, things are just this way for me, or um, this is just how it is for me, that um, you always have um, the opportunity, if you so choose it, to rewrite that. So in this video, I wanna talk about the process that, that I've gone through when it comes to rewriting my story um, post, you know, shadow work or post you know feeling the feelings and then and then rewriting and re um having a different perception of the situation that's in front of us and just kind of turning it a little bit and looking at it from a, a different perspective i felt really inspired to make this video because i've seen this in other people i've seen it in myself where we feel so intensely um our emotional bodies are so sensitive and such a real part of this experience and i've seen myself and and other friends who we just get stuck in a loop on some of these uh, stories that we're telling ourselves or some of these mindsets and they can be really subtle um but then it, you get into a place you know where you might be waking up every day and the story is the same and we aren't actively rewriting those moments um, where we're kind of just we've come through our shadow work but there's still like some residue of these old thought patterns beliefs um, and it really is more of just a pattern just waking up especially if you've come through depression or severe anxiety um, sometimes those go hand in hand and it can be, um, it takes a practice, especially first thing in the morning, it takes a practice to really wipe away that residue of waking up and telling yourself like, well, this is just how I am. This is just how it's been for, sometimes it's, you know, years, right? Um, that we're in that that fog of, of depression or in, you know, feeling too much or just wanting to numb ourselves so that we don't feel any more. And, I just feel that it's important to share that that can be different. We don't have to stay in the residue of these old stories, especially right now. There is <laughs> such a, a, an opening and an invitation to be a little different in this, in this way of rewriting your story really quickly. Um, it's possible to do it. So there's an invitation that if you feel that you have been um, stagnant in energies of depression, in energies of a lot of lack, really, um, or not feeling connected to who you really are, that th this is a, a, a daily, very mundane kind of work that you have to do. It really just takes first thing in the morning having a practice that resets your frequency completely. So, um, and I also just want to say that there's nothing wrong with going through depression. I've gone through years of depression. I've been on anti, um, 
antidepressant uh, medication years ago. Um, it was an incredible journey to get off of that medication um, and to get to a place where I can lean into um, more natural remedies. But I just want to also say that if you are, um, if you have a history with with that medication, or you're still in a relationship with that medication, it's there's no judgment on that. And whatever it is that we need to be able to show up every day and love ourselves is it's important to honor um, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. So um, I just come from a place of of having quite a long journey with, especially depression. Um, and now I'm reaching a point where I'm just, I'm seeing some of the subtle, you know, voices and the subtle things that are keeping me in that state of, um, of not really expanding as quickly and as rapidly as I know that I'm capable of, right? But sometimes what we know isn't totally integrated into our feeling body. So that's, that's really what I'm kind of talking about today. And some of the things that I've personally leaned into are um, self-care practices with my physical body, with aromatherapy, with, um, you know, getting into my body um, in a new way, in a more embodied way. A lot of times with, um, in my journey, depression really brought me out of my physical body. I was living very much in my thoughts and there was this just awful loop of um, of thoughts that I almost felt like I was just not even in control of anymore. So um, by coming back into our physical bodies with practices like, um, you can do yoga, but for me, I just stretch. I don't have a fancy yoga practice. I don't have like, um, I'm hoping that when we get back to um, Arizona, I've got my eye on a hot yoga studio that I would love to get into, but right now that's not available to me where I live. So I just kind of stretch and like intuitively move and um, just, you know, and that's it. So coming back to our physical body is a really good first step. Um, really important first step, coming back into this temple, um, in in here, right? Feeling what is going on in here, putting your hands, and I've talked about this in other videos, that your hands are such incredible, especially if you're watching this video, you're probably incredibly empathic and, and sensitive, so your hands can really pick up a lot of information with your body. So, um, you know, put them on your muscles, put, it, put your hands on your back, and just, you know, receive what your body wants to tell you. That could be food, that could be uh, ways of stretching, it could be um, a really heavy Epsom salt bath. You know, just be open to what the messages are um, that your body is saying, yeah, this is, what, this is what I need so that it's a more comfortable home for you to really reside in. Another big practice for me, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram or you followed my journey, I've been um, for over a year now working with essential oils. I started working with them when I was pregnant and for me, they were just such a po I've worked with flower essences for years. Um, and then bringing in the essential oils um, are the plants that are around us are such incredible he to, like healers, um, truly. So, um, so using that on my different meridian points on my body to assist with emotional release. A lot of times my body um, and my spirit, I was really ready to move on through something, but my physical body was still holding on to, um, to an experience and it needed to be released either through laughing or crying um, are the two main ways or um, yeah, those are the two main ways that I usually um, find myself releasing um, an experience that is being held in my body. Getting in tune, getting really at home in here, getting embodied, okay? This is a critical part, critical, critical part. So coming home here, coming home in your body, it's a critical step and I see a lot of people skipping over this step or prolonging it to where they're not really embodied they're not really like using this vessel they're not feeling themselves they're not embodied in here and it's okay i've had years of that where i was very much living in these like other realms and i i didn't know what was going on in my body at all i wasn't even aware of it um so i have a lot of compassion there i'm not but but coming through the other side of it um 
I just see now, wow, the power of really using this physical vessel and, and just leading with that. Just start there. If you don't know where to start, start with, okay, let's just focus on how I'm feeling in, in here. Now, after you've got some really nice practices and some nice routines there, what can be helpful and what really works is um, getting into some um, subconscious uh, when you sleep, playing some aff affirmations to really assist your subconscious with reprogramming the thoughts that you wake up with first thing in the morning. You can start to then you start to really see how these physical bodies are just like a giant computer. They, they really can be reprogrammed with the right information. And right or wrong is relative, but for me, what feels like the right information is a mindset where lack doesn't exist. There's unconditional love and generosity within myself. I'm completely connected to a higher power that I don't need to understand all of the time. Time and space are um, very flexible. So reprogramming yourself with some affirmations while you sleep. And this was something that I resisted for a really long time and now I can see that was my ego not wanting to try this very, very powerful practice of listening to binaural beats, um, different tones while I slept. Um, Affer specific affirmations about my relationship with um, with money or with my body. So listening to those while I sleep and I there is an enormous difference when I first wake up, the story that I'm telling myself about how I want to approach my day or how I want to approach my children or how I want to approach myself as I look at myself in the bathroom mirror first thing in the morning, it is a different conversation that's happening because there's been the subtle subconscious programming that has happened because of what I was listening to while I was sleeping, okay? So we're kind of transitioning now from how we're um, treating our physical body to our mental body, right? Now, when both of these things are really feeling very stable and very strong, our emotional body feels safer to just accept and to be with with a higher path with the joy that is so natural that wants to come through you when your physical and mental body are in a health like are are feeling really well are feeling really taken care of so that has been um as i've gone through and i still continue um even though i have all of the tools all of the guidance, all of the knowledge is is within me, um, right? The knowledge is more here. It's not here. I don't. That's a habit, right? But to point here, but the things that I know, um, I still find myself coming up against these these really difficult times, really really dark moments and questioning, you know, which is just an opportunity. It's just an opportunity for me to rewrite my story. Okay, so when those moments come up, whatever you can do to really slow down everything else going on and to make that a priority um, and write some of these, what is the new story? Rewrite the new story. Make a gratitude list. Whatever you need to do to just jump right into that so it doesn't spiral um, because that can be, you know, with our emotional body, it can really spiral into a place, you know, it just is like domino effect if we don't take control of it right away, okay? Um, so a really powerful practice is to, to start writing and look at the words that you're writing because you can, sometimes you'll write down something and it's like, that's a ridiculous lie. For example, if I'm f coming up against a fear with receiving um more money with even more ease one of the fears that comes up for me is that i'm going to spend it all or it be greedy that's the feeling is that i'm going to be really greedy i'm going to be completely selfish with these funds and not help the people and my family and you know all of all if if i received that much and i write it down and when you see it written down there's there's a there's like that's not true. That's not a true story. Um, it is for a certain wounded aspect of me, but it's time to take that wounded aspect of me 
make sure that it's heard, right? We have so many different aspects of ourself that is within us. Um, you can imagine like a round table, right? And there's you at so many different stages of your life or you at so many different situational moments in your life where you've you know, been programmed to think that you're greedy, you aren't responsible, um, you are totally careless, you don't know what you're doing, you need someone to help you out. Um, whatever the story is, right? And then there's that that wounded part of you that that received that moment um, that it's time to have a conversation with that aspect of yourself and say, no, we've got this. We've got this. You know that that's not true. We've got this. And you write down the reasons why you've got this um, and the things that you're grateful for and the tools that we have. We have so many tools to help us move through um, those moments. So, um, you know, the main reason I wanted to make this video was to, um, first just share that it's a completely normal process, especially for incredibly sensitive light workers to, um, even if you've been doing this for years, to still have moments of, of questions, to still have moments of, whoa, this is a different perspective I haven't looked at before. And that just means that you're continuing the journey. Um, it's going to be a part of the journey that more questions come. They just become easier and easier and easier to, um, to interact with. And not only do they become easier to interact with, but the speed at which you can move through a activation or an upgrade in that way where um, you can just call upon you know an ascended master such as Isis um, such as Mary Magdalene those are two that I've been working with pretty intensely over the last few months and um, and ask for their support right coming into that place of like wow I, I don't know right now and I, I need some help that is that is one of the most powerful prayers that I say on a very regular basis of just like, whoa, I don't actually know in this moment what what's going on. What am I supposed to, you know, there's and then but as soon as I ask for it, as soon as I say out loud, I'm ready to receive the highest, the highest information, the highest timeline to help me navigate the situation. Take a few deep breaths use the tools that I have, um, use the medicines that we have, the plants, the whatever it is for you. There's so many different options of, of, of things that we can use to nourish ourselves. For me, it's essential oils is um, something that really helps me come back into alignment and it changes my entire field, um, especially when I use them on my meridian points. Um, I use tapping a lot. So all the tools, right? There's all of these tools that we can use. Um, with the power of prayer and we can start to move through these darker moments with such ease and speed and know that this is going to be easy. I feel a lot right now, but I know that this can be easy. I know that there are tools for this. I know that I'm going to move through this really quickly. And so it is. So um, just taking those moments for yourself and being really gentle with yourself um, as you are navigating many lifetimes coming up into this one lifetime right now. These many lifetimes are coming up right now. You may have had the experience of, I like my friend Bridget calls it recall. So you have a moment where you like recall a memory, um, maybe a past life memory, a parallel lifetime memory that this lifetime, because our consciousness is expanding at such a rapid rate, we're able to tap into that other now moment and say, how does that apply to right now? And how am I going to choose to move forward through this? And how am I going to choose to walk my journey with this new aspect of information about who I am? I hope that this has shed some light on some of the subtleties of uh, shadow work and especially when we're kind of doing it alone. <laughs> um, there have been many years where I've been working with, um, with a mentor, with a coach, with a therapist, all of the above, um, astrologers, whatever it is, um, 
working with that kind of support and I'm in a place right now where it feels really good for me just to be doing this with me um, and with the many aspects of me and with my guides um, and the occasional you know reaching out to a friend for a tarot card session or whatever it is just and more so so that I can connect with like another person who are who's like navigating these realms with me um, in a really intentional and really powerful way but if you are someone who you know you're really just you're doing this with yourself. Um, there are so many ways that and tools that we can lean back into and really remember how easy this journey is meant to be. The journey is meant to be easy. The journey is meant to be in flow. You are not meant to suffer. You are not meant to have continuing like days, weeks, years of being in a place of um, depression. It's just not, how, it's not how it's supposed to be for you. That's not how it's supposed to be. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell if you wanna get notifications when new videos are being released. Thank you so much for being here. It's an honor to walk the path with you. I'll see you in the next video.